News Conference, investigators said digital footprints played a key role in leading them to Sydney Loof's body. They look at how electronics track a person's movement. 3 News Now reporter Nick Starling talked to a retired FBI agent about this type of police work. Nick. Jen Craig, police are increasingly using what's called digital footprints to track people down. It's a tool that's extremely useful for investigations as almost all of us have social media accounts and cell phones. It truly was a collaborative process through analysis of the digital evidence. Lincoln police say the investigation into Sydney Loof's disappearance was helped by so-called digital footprints. But what exactly are they? You're talking about accessing uh, the data from the mobile communications providers uh, and analyzing that data to determine where the particular device in question was located at what point in time. Retired former FBI Special Agent Wayson Dunn explains your cell phone or internet connection can help investigators locate people and solve crimes. The provider of that service has to know where you're located because they have to be able to connect the signal, they have to be able to connect that call. A tool that's especially important when seemingly everyone is connected through Facebook, Twitter or Snapchat. While uh, the explosion of digital media and the fact that it's become part and parcel of everybody's life does present some new opportunities for law enforcement in terms of developing leads and in terms of uh, getting information. But Dunn says these digital breadcrumbs can be a double-edged sword. If you're sophisticated enough, you can do things like spoof a cell phone signal or, or potentially spoof a website. While watching this case from the outside, Dunn says the law enforcement agencies are doing a good job as Loof's body was possibly found based on digital analysis. That suggests that they are uh, taking advantage of all of the information that they can legally have access to and they're appropriately analyzing that. Dunn says in this case, the digital footprints allowed investigators to access data and narrow down the search area to locate what's believed to be loose body. Reporting live in studio, Nick Starling, 3 News Now.